let me let me bring a, a kind of analogy on this. Like for example, if we want to compete, me and you want to compete in, in like athletics, you know, we want to compete in, in running. And then if I give you an advance, uh, I mean, if you if you don't start from the same, uh, I mean, line, then definitely that you will get an advantage. So that's how uh, is, is, is happening between indigenous and scientific knowledge. Because when it comes to economic uh, capability, when it comes to technological capability, communication, networking, uh, policy level, uh, whatever, uh, science already took advantage. That's why always it's in, 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 in dominant position. Uh, because the power is, knowledge is power, uh, whatever kind of knowledge it is. So if they use it to jeopardize, uh, what others are saying, uh, even uh, interpret it wrongly, and also keep educating the, the, the young generation in, 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 in according to their way of thinking. So where is, where is the limit to stop it, to, to, to mitigate it? Where is also the, the, the space for indigenous knowledge to mentor them? There is no space. So that's uh, the concerning.